that exercise matters not just on the energy balance side, but exercise makes you, for example, more sensitive to satiety hormones. So, um, you know, look, I, I have kind of a belief here that the, the person who is overweight, uh, the person who is obese and who is clearly eating more than they should be, uh, isn't doing that by choice. Maybe, maybe some are, but, but for the most part, it's hard for me to imagine there's someone who's listening to this who's obese, who isn't wanting to not be obese and who is otherwise struggling with hunger, right? Um, and I think that, you know, that's one of the challenges is why is it that a person who is not in energy balance is not responding to the normal satiety signals? And I think there's a lot of reasons. On the food science side, we could talk about a whole bunch of reasons why our food has been hijacked, our food is void of nutrients, our food is hyper palatable, it's far too available. Like, there's a whole bunch of reasons. But I think one thing that doesn't get enough attention is this thing, which is an exercising person has a better sense of nutrient requirement. They have a better, their body physiologically is more in tune with their appetitive needs.